Hello, curious minds. Ever wondered what it would be like if one of the brightest stars in the sky exploded? Betelgeuse, a massive red supergiant, is on the brink of a spectacular transformation that could light up the night sky like never before. Join us as we explore what this supernova could mean for our world and what we can learn from it. Betelgeuse. It's a name that rolls off the tongue, isn't it? This stellar giant is classified as a red supergiant star, meaning it's in the final stages of its stellar life cycle. Located some 640 light years away from Earth in the constellation Orion, this means that it takes the light from this star about 640 years to reach us, so when you look up at Betelgeuse you're actually seeing it as it was over 600 years ago, it is often the 10th brightest star in our night sky, easily visible to the naked eye thanks to its immense size and distinctive reddish hue. Fun fact, Betelgeuse is about 7,500 to 14,000 times brighter than the sun. When it comes to stars, size really does matter. It can tell us a lot about its life cycle, its energy output, and even its eventual fate. And Betelgeuse? Well, it's a cosmic heavyweight champion, with a radius roughly 700 times larger than our sun and a mass about 10 to 20 times that of the sun, it is classified as a red supergiant. To put that into perspective, if our sun were the size of a basketball, Betelgeuse would be as large as a stadium. Or if we replaced our sun with Betelgeuse it would stretch past Jupiter's orbit. But it's not just its size that makes it so captivating, its other physical characteristics are equally fascinating. Unlike our sun's blindingly bright white light, Betelgeuse glows with a distinctive reddish-orange hue. This vibrant color is a direct result of its surface temperature. Cooler stars emit light at longer wavelengths, which appear red or orange to our eyes. While our sun has a surface temperature of about 5,500 degrees Celsius, Betelgeuse's surface temperature is around 3,300 degrees Celsius. Deep within its core, it's engaged in a continuous process of nuclear fusion converting hydrogen into helium and releasing an unimaginable amount of energy in the process. So, where do we find this celestial giant? Well, it's easier than you might think. Look up and find the constellation Orion, the hunter. Orion is easily recognizable by his belt, three stars aligned in a row. You'll find Betelgeuse marking Orion's right shoulder. It stands out with its distinct reddish hue, a stark contrast to the cooler blue-white stars surrounding it. This color is a telltale sign of its advanced age and impending fate. So the next time you find yourself beneath a clear night sky, take a moment to locate Orion, and when you do, you'll be face to face with a star, on the verge of a its death. Like all stars, Betelgeuse began its life in a stellar nursery, a cloud of gas and dust where gravity coaxed matter to coalesce and ignite. These nurseries, often called nebulae, are the birthplaces of stars, scattering them across the universe like cosmic seeds. Over millions of years, Betelgeuse gathered mass, its core temperature and pressure increasing until nuclear fusion ignited in its heart. This fusion, the conversion of hydrogen to helium, is the lifeblood of stars, releasing the energy that makes them shine. Betelgeuse, however, was destined for a more dramatic path than our own sun. It was much more massive, and this mass dictates a star's fate. More massive stars burn brighter but live shorter lives racing through their fuel reserves, and so Betelgeuse evolved into a red supergiant, its outer layers expanding outward as it approached the end of its stellar life. The inevitable end awaits. Betelgeuse is now in the final stages of its life cycle, its core a cauldron of nuclear reactions, fusing heavier and heavier elements. The star is in a constant balancing act between the inward pull of gravity and the outward pressure from fusion. It is only about 10 million years old and the clock is ticking. In the fusion reactions in its core, the outward pressure that has kept the star stable will give way to the relentless inward But when exactly will this happen, while Betelgeuse is supernova is incredibly difficult, astronomers estimate that it could go supernova any time within the next 100,000 years. This could mean it happens tomorrow, or it could be tens of thousands of years from now. The uncertainty only as it becomes incredibly dense and hot. This intense pressure and temperature cause a rapid buildup of energy. The outer layers of the star which have been expanding and cooling are now is a supernova explosion, a spectacular and violent release of energy that can outshine an entire galaxy for a brief period. This explosion sends shockwaves surrounding interstellar medium with heavy elements. These elements including iron, nickel and other heavy metals are critical for the formation of new stars and planetary systems box of new worlds. After the explosion what remains of Betelgeuse depends on its mass, the core might become a new 
of neutrons or it might collapse further into a black hole if the remaining mass is sufficient. In late 2019, astronomers noticed something unusual about Betelgeuse. The star, typically one of the brightest in the night sky, began to dim dramatically. This wasn't just a minor fluctuation, Betelgeuse's brightness plummeted to unprecedented levels. The astronomical community was abuzz with excitement and speculation. Was this the beginning of the end for Betelgeuse? Was the long-awaited supernova imminent? Telescopes around the world and in space were trained on the red supergiant, eager to capture every detail of this unprecedented event. Theories abounded. Some suggested a massive ejection of stellar material was obscuring the star's light, while others proposed the formation of colossal star spots on its surface. Each possibility offered a tantalizing glimpse into the complex processes at play within a dying star. As months passed, Betelgeuse gradually returned to its normal brightness, leaving astronomers with more questions than answers. The Great Dimming, as it came to be known, became a captivating mystery, a cosmic puzzle waiting to be solved. Careful analysis of data from various telescopes eventually provided some clues. The leading theory that emerged suggested a combination of factors was responsible for the dimming. A large cool star spot, similar to sunspots on our own sun but on a much grander scale, likely formed on Betelgeuse's surface, temporarily reducing its overall brightness. Additionally the star may have ejected a massive cloud of gas and dust, further obscuring its light. This ejection could be a precursor to the star's eventual supernova, a tantalizing hint of the dramatic events to come. Now you might be wondering what happens when Betelgeuse eventually goes supernova? Will it affect us here on Earth? Well, the answer, as with many things in astronomy, is nuanced. Betelgeuse has fascinated astronomers and stargazers alike for centuries. Its eventual supernova is not just a matter of if, but when. This cosmic event will be one of the most spectacular shows the universe has to offer. Betelgeuse is quite far from us, about 640 light years away. That's a safe distance astronomically speaking when it comes to the devastating effects of a supernova. To put this into perspective, light from Betelgeuse takes 640 years to reach us. This means that if Betelgeuse were to explode today, we wouldn't see it until 640 years from now. This vast distance ensures that the harmful radiation and shockwaves from the explosion won't reach Earth. While a supernova within a certain radius can indeed wreak havoc on a solar system, Betelgeuse is far enough that we're in the clear. Supernovae are known to release intense radiation, including gamma rays, which can strip away a planet's atmosphere and cause mass extinctions. However, at 640 light-years away, Betelgeuse's explosion will be a safe distance from us, sparing Earth from any catastrophic consequences. The real show will be in the sky. When this giant explodes, it will become incredibly bright, visible even during the day. Imagine a second sun in the sky, outshining even the full moon. This dazzling display will be a once-in-a-lifetime event captivating people all over the world. Stargazers, astronomers, and even casual observers will be treated to a celestial spectacle that will be talked about for generations. This celestial spectacle could last for weeks or even months, a dazzling reminder of the universe's awesome power. The explosion will release an enormous amount of energy and particles, including neutrinos. These ghostly particles, while harmless to us, carry valuable information about the very heart of a supernova explosion. Neutrinos are incredibly difficult to detect but they provide crucial insights into the processes occurring within the core of the star. Scientists will eagerly study these particles to learn more about the mechanisms driving supernova and the life cycles of stars. But the story doesn't end there. Long after the light from the supernova fades, its remnants will continue to expand outwards, forming a beautiful nebula. This nebula, a cloud of gas and dust, will be illuminated by the remaining energy from the explosion. Over time it will evolve and change creating stunning and intricate patterns in the night sky. Within this nebula, the seeds of new stars and planets will be sown as we talked about it earlier. This event will provide us with a front row seat to witness the death of a star and the birth of something new. It's a reminder that we are all connected to the cosmos, part of a grand cosmic cycle of stellar death and rebirth. The atoms that make up our bodies were once forged in the hearts of ancient stars, and Betelgeuse's supernova will continue this cosmic legacy. We've learned that while Betelgeuse's eventual explosion poses no threat to Earth, it will be a celestial event of extraordinary proportions. The supernova will illuminate our skies, briefly outshining the moon and captivating observers across the globe. For a few weeks Betelgeuse will become the brightest object in the night sky, a beacon of light that will be visible even during the day. This event will be a once-in-a-lifetime spectacle, drawing the attention of people from all walks of life, from casual sky watchers to seasoned astronomers. And in its death throes, Betelgeuse will bequeath a gift to the universe, the elements forged in its core, scattered across the cosmos to seed new stars, planets and perhaps even life. 
As we continue to study Betelgeuse and other stars like it we gain a deeper understanding of our place in the universe. Each observation, each discovery, adds a piece to the puzzle of how stars live and die and how the elements that make up our world are created and distributed. We unravel the mysteries of stellar evolution, the origins of the elements that make up our world, and the vastness of the cosmos that surrounds us. This quest for knowledge drives us to build better telescopes, develop new theories, and push the boundaries of what we know. It is a journey that requires patience, perseverance, and a sense of wonder. Betelgeuse's eventual supernova will be a momentous occasion, a chance to witness one of the most awe-inspiring events in the universe. This event will be a milestone in the field of astronomy, providing a wealth of data and sparking new lines of inquiry. Whether you are an amateur stargazer or a professional astronomer, there is always something new to discover, something that will spark your imagination and deepen your appreciation for the universe we call home. Thanks for exploring the mysteries of Betelgeuse with us. As we await the eventual supernova of this cosmic giant, we're curious. What do you think will be the most exciting discovery from Betelgeuse's final chapter? Drop your predictions and ideas in the comments below. If you enjoyed this journey through the stars, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss our next adventure. Until next time, keep looking up.